Okay, watch this. This one is called Hello to Me. I'm gonna say hello to me and you say hello. Why don't you say, why don't you say hello to me? Hello to me. Why don't you say, why don't you say hello to me? No one's getting paid, but they're all hired. It's like, we're welcome to America. Woo. Hello to me. Why don't you say hello to me? 
Hello to me. Why don't you say? Why don't you say? Hello to me. Hello to me, hello to me, say why don't you say, why don't you say, hello to me, hello to me. Our lighting director, come on, give me a hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's union, so he's getting most of the money for this show. So. <laughs> Alright, this one is called Oh My Everything, and that's all the lyrics you need to know. So how that goes, you guys are seeing the chorus. Oh my
fades away, yeah. Time to sleep and I wonder what will be. All alone, cry for eternity. And oh my, oh my, oh my, everything. Oh my, oh my, yeah, yeah. Oh my, oh my, oh my, everything. Oh my, oh my, yeah, yeah. Oh my, oh my, oh my, everything. Thank you for the audition. I'm sorry we already have those positions filled. <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you. Can we get Chris Chandler back up here? Let's see, right? Yeah. 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 How about this? Now for something completely different. Uh -huh. No, how about this? How, what about Jordan Vineson? Yeah. 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 Ye
I don't like fundamentals of any kind, including atheists. The atheists are the worst. <laughs> they don't want to capitalize the word God. I'm like, why not? You capitalize Huckleberry Finn, no <laughs> Then they want to take one nation under God out of the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't have a problem with the phrase one nation under God. What I have a problem with is people pledging allegiance. And what does one nation under God mean anyway? I mean, does that mean Australia is more under God than we are? Is Canada one nation on top of God? Or is God all around us? We should be one nation in the center of God. I just wish we'd be one nation getting over God. You might be an ambassador to England or France. You may like to gamble, you may like to dance. You may be the heavyweight champion of the world. You may be a socialite with a long set of pearls, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. He is the center of the universe. But 
you know what? He's right. But not because he's Sir Isaac Newton, but because the universe is infinite. And for no matter where you sit, it's equal distance in any direction. And that, by its very definition, is the center. You might like to wear cotton. You might like to wear silk. You might like to drink whiskey. You might like to drink milk. You might like to eat caviar here. You might like to eat bread. You might be sleeping on the floor. Maybe sleeping in a king-size bed. But you're going to have to serve somebody. Fast food attitudes 
and telemarketing platitudes. What have you done to my road? What have you done to my America? The interstate made the United States, the United States of generica. What have they done to my road? What have they done to America? The interstate, the United States, the United States of generica. Like you taught me, man, I ain't gonna be treated this way. Because I 
seen Jack Kerouac in the back parking lot of a stop and go. Down the road, feeling bad. He was pouring wild turkey. Going down the road, feeling bad. In a slurpee. Sigh, longing to be a hammock, 
tethered between two trees and swayed in a breeze at Joanne Nara's house. <laughs> the hammock side, longing to be a magnificent bed in a luxury hotel where two champagne sipping sophisticates meet for an illicit tryst. The cigarette lighter that they use after their stolen hour sighs in a crazed desire to be the eternal flame illuminating the graveyard of forgotten soldiers who gave their lives in a forgotten war. The forgotten war sighs. I wish I were just a house concert at Joanne Nara. We'll go round in circles. We'll fly high like a bird up in the sky, up in the sky. We'll go round in circles. We'll fly high like a bird up in the sky. What if? a great awakening of atoms where they all remember their vast and intricate histories. Did you ever think that those practical number two pencils that accounts of fuse ever fantasize about drawing body pictures of urban sophisticates in a luxury hotel? Just a luxury hotel of dropping its facade of rectitude and becoming a flop house, quartering a poet sprawled on an exhausted sofa, scrawling brilliant, unpublishable verse while being pestered by bill collectors on telephones, which grow disgusted of tormenting the multitude of niggling sums to the telephones themselves begin orating the Sermon on the Mount. Does the Sermon on the Mount secretly want to perform at Joanne Nareth's house? Will it go around in circles? Will it fly high like a bird up in the sky, up in the sky? Will it go around in circles? What if there was a great awakening of Adam, where they all remembered their vast and intricate histories, an atomic explosion of memory? We might hear the tale of a fleck of lint floating in the air that was once part of a soldier's bootleg which he gave to his beloved to lace her corset the night before he died in a forgotten battle in a forgotten war. A fleck of lint that was once part of a bushman's pelt which contained the tooth of a saber-toothed tiger which evolved into an alley cat which was gutted to make the strings of a violin which entertained elegant guests at a house concert at Joanne Nerat's house. I got story, ain't got no moral. At the back I ran every once in a while. I got a story, ain't got no moral. At the back I ran every once in a while. We'll go around in circles. That's nothing but time on the air. The flow to the air and sing of love, of war, of mythical peace, of beauty, of poverty, of sadness. And that flag of land now drifts unnoticed into your beer. And you drink it. And it sees the joys and the sorrows of your life until you too are buried, forgotten in the earth. 
but you will rise again as grass, which is eaten by cows, who go to slaughter and are served in a luxury hotel and washed down with a beer. And we all get to have a Saturday night at the Mirad's house all over again. Go round in circles. We'll fly high like a bird up in the sky, up in the sky. We'll go round in circles. We'll fly high like a bird up in the sky. We'll go round in circles. We'll fly high like a bird up in the sky. experiencing a house concert. I mean, a lot of the people that I really love musically are out there on the road and some of them have made it. Now their tickets are like $300.
turns it into silver Unfair, unfair, cried the broken hearts She's been shortchanging us right from the start Untrue, untrue, the tide of checks For the only woman that life she reflects So as I stand a while in the aisles of merchandise that have become my life, I turned 63 days ago. There's a lot of merchandise in that life. This sports jacket. <laughs> this necktie. But I come across a set of wings that remind me of the pair that I once had and bought. They were on display next to a counter of broken hearts. And as I fingered the wings dilapidated down, that necktie opened its eyes and replied, you know, Chandler, without its wings, without its wings, the bird of paradise himself, the bird of paradise himself ain't nothing, ain't nothing but a, a dandified chicken. It's true. I once saw the bird of paradise without them highfalutin' wings. You know where it was? It was in a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> it was being lowered into a vat of boiling grease. But it rose like a mixed metaphor from its sugary breading turned the Midwestern Methodist family of five into living pez dispensers. And they were promptly arrested by mall security for being an inventory of merchandise. And I'll do it. Hard time in a maximum security prison somewhere beneath Disneyland. Some guess you know, all of us go. She turns it into silver. Unfair, unfair, cried the broken hearts. She's been shot changing us right from the start. Untrue, untrue, the tide of jets For the only lonely moon by the light She reflects So needless to say I purchased that necktie <laughs> Well, what would you do? And the sports jet with the face of a Methodist. <laughs> but we're all friends here, right? <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> but I shoplifted the heart by placing it in the vest pocket of the sports jacket. Because I knew that stolen hearts were better somehow. And I knew that I'd be needing this apparel for my date with the moon and my friends. She is already dressed. Unfair, unfair, cried the broken hearts. She's 
been shot, children ask for right from the start. Untrue, untrue, but sad objects. Don't know the moon by the light she reflects. Jordan Price and Joanne Merritt and Chris Chandler. It's been a great pleasure performing for you. Thank you.